Today we're going to try a surface operation and see how easy it really is. So here's a complex surface. This complex surface, pretend it's a mouse, a sur the surface on a mouse, um, anything like that. We're going to use, number one, we're going to use a ball end mill uh, to give us a smoother finish. And we're going to keep our step over pretty close uh, to also make sure that uh, it gives us a smoother finish. But again, remember that that's going to take a lot of time. So we're going to, I'm going to demonstrate a surface. We're going to do two different sur surfaces and make this look like it's diamond plated. Uh, kids love it. It looks really cool and it machines a lot faster. So we're in design mode. Let's auto stock our material. Check PRZ. PRZ is correct. Now finding features is unnecessary. The reason it's unnecessary is we're going to use this whole piece as the surface. So we're going to go right into manufacture mode without finding any features. Make sure you have the right post, the right CPL, and say OK. Now remember, we didn't find any features, so all we have is our stock. So we're in our sequence tab. Let's try a surface operation called a parallel lace. And a parallel lace is just that. We're going to select the geometry, the whole thing. Anywhere you click on here, it's going to select the whole surface. You click on it say OK. Boundaries. Let's select the outside edge. And for our tool, we're going to use a quarter inch ball. And there we go. Notice though, the amount of time that's going to take is a very, very long time. We can check that by going to Verify and choose cycle time and it tells us in this window here that the cycle time is going to be about 34 minutes and 31 seconds to machine that. So let's edit that and make that go a little bit faster. To do that we can change our step over. Step over is a percentage that the tool overlaps. It's only overlapping about 10 percent. Let's make it overlap about 70 percent. And while I'm here let's change the angle 45 degrees so that it goes at an angle like it shows in this picture. Say OK. Notice what it does. And notice it stops at the edges that we selected. Let's verify this and see what it looks like. Notice that the tool is only cutting from the left to the right. So it's coming out of the material and coming back, out, back, out, back. And that's taken quite a while. So let's do this. Let's also, while we're in this parallel lace operation, let's edit it so that instead of climb or conventional, let's use optimized. Optimized means it'll cut both ways. So let's try it now. Let's also take a look at verify cycle time. We've dropped from 34 minutes and 31 seconds to 4 minutes and 40 seconds just because we changed the step over and we, made, we optimized it so that it cuts both ways. Remember, this is not for steel or metal. Uh, this is for butterboard, wax, or ren, ren shape. So let's verify that and see what it looks like. Now it's cutting both ways. Notice the little red marks, it means my tool depth, my tool is not deep enough. I have extra large tools on my mill, extra long tools on my mill, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. But now it cuts both ways. Now let's make it even fancier. Let's, since it's cutting one way, let's try cutting the other way. So let's do another parallel lace operation. Select the geometry, and then let's select boundaries again. Let's select the outside edges. And this time, make the, leave everything the same, except leave the angle, make the angle negative 45. We're going to say use current tool, so it uses the same quarter inch end mill without doing a tool change. And now we have two operations right on top of one another. Let's go to simulate, and let's verify it. And notice, remember, the red, um, I have long, a long tool in my mill, so that's too deep for this particular tool. It'll work when I go to machine it. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and it will cut both ways. If you want, if you don't want to wait for it, use the rapid result button and choose rapid result. 
and we can use rapid result and we can speed it up. We can use rapid result and speed it up by using this up here. Let's rewind it and say play. And that's what it ends up looking like. And you'll, you'll get it to look a little bit like diamond plate. Kids will play with the step over. Um, it looks really neat. It has a neat pattern to it. Um, and also it saves a lot of machine time. If we take a look at the machine time now, verify, cycle time, that whole part will take us 9 minutes and 15 seconds going both ways.